Inside the Ropes with David Hearn, presented by Kia Premium. Kia, the power to surprise. In 2001, David Hearn turned professional. And now, 14 years later, he is finally established as one of the tour's most consistent players and one of Canada's top golfers. Reflecting back on his 2015 campaign, it's clear Hearn is starting to play the best golf of his life. Veteran or not, he is just entering his prime at the age of 36. This year's biggest moment, and possibly his biggest heartbreak, was finishing top three at the RBC Canadian Open after having a two-shot lead over Jason Day and Bubba Watson going into the final day. He almost ended that long drought of a home country winner at the Open, now 61 years and counting. Still, the crowds and support he received are something he says he'll remember for a long time. You know, I, I was really proud of the way I played. I felt very good uh, getting out of the gates and, um, you know, made a couple of nice birdies getting going. Um, I felt like I was in control of a lot of things. And, but overall, um, the crowds and the support from all the Canadian fans was truly incredible. Something I'll always remember. And I'm real proud of the fact that uh, I gave myself a chance to win our national championship. And, uh, you know, it's stuff I'll remember for a very long time. Putting himself into contention at the Canadian Open came as no surprise as it happened less than a month after losing in a four-man playoff to eventual winner Danny Lee at the Greenbrier. Hearn showed he can handle the pressure as he poured in a 16-footer on the first playoff hole to eliminate Kevin Kisner and Robert Streb before eventually falling to Lee. Well, this is the ultimate pressure in golf when you're in a playoff. It's, you have to make it. Move on! Wow. Very impressive. Although he's yet to hoist a PGA Tour trophy over his head, there is no denying that his game and season have been the best of his career. Hearn's year has seen him finish second, third, and in the top 10 four times, leaving him ending this year with a career high in money earned, just shy of $2 million. Hearn seems to be building on every tournament, and with his consistent play of late, there's really no telling how far he can take his golf game in 2016. With the Summer Olympics welcoming golf back to the fold next year in Rio, Hearn will most likely be representing Canada. And at the moment, he's Canada's best chance at earning a medal. But hopefully this season brings much more than that, and Hearn can notch his first career PGA Tour victory as well.